of feminism as um, the fight for women's rights socially, economically? I think that feminism is just like, it doesn't really have to be with like women, it's just equality. Like, I feel like just like fight for what's right. It's like most women don't get paid what they should and stuff like that. And I just think that it's people who want like an equal chance and everything. I think when people think of feminism, they think of like e equal rights towards just women and stuff. But in modern day, in modern days, I know feminism isn't like hasn't been here for a while, I guess. But it's more of a movement to create equal rights for both men and women in like all aspects of society. Feminism is uh, the. Uh, movement to try and gain uh, equal footing for men and women. So the opportunity to present equal rights for, for both the male and, and female gender? <laughs> um, I think anybody can be a feminist and I think, I mean, I just think that having only women be feminist would kind of be, like, would make the fight harder for women to have equal rights, like, socially, economically. Um, so I think that it's important that men are feminists because it can combine and unify everyone. Yeah, I think men can be feminists. Uh, why? Because uh, it doesn't it doesn't really matter if if you're a man or a woman or whatever you identify as, uh, as long as you believe in and uh, advocate for the the equal treatment of, of genders. I think men's involvement in the feminist movement definitely has helped feminism advance because feminism is asking for all genders involved to help and push equality. And it's it would be unfair for women to ask men not to be involved, especially if they're asking like equal contributions from both sides. And I say men and women loosely because um, like I believe it should be all gender inclusive. I just think that if you fight together, like for everyone to be equal, like everyone from both sides should be able to help. I don't think it should be just one group. I think overall, it's important to have men be in the movement because it shows that, hey, this isn't a movement to try and destroy men. It's a movement to just get both together on the world ground. When like a person thinks of a feminist, they think of this really like uptight woman who just doesn't think about like a man, but then if a man's a feminist, then, excuse me, <laughs> then he makes improvements with the movement and stuff because like you want to see more people other than women being feminists because then it makes people more open to it, I guess. I think that feminism should be a fight for everyone, not just women. I don't think it should be for just one group of people. I think it should be for everybody that is socially oppressed, economically, etc. I like, truly believe that gay people, black people, people of color, people who have mental disorders, everyone. I mean, we still have cases of sexual... I forgot the word. Sexual harassment against men. We still have like um, enforced ideals that we as a society put on men. And that is a form of oppression, but it's historically been less significant and less prevalent. That's one thing that does bug me about feminism is that like extreme like radical like radical feminists, is that how you say it? Yeah. They like they only focus on like the equal rights for women, but I don't think society realizes a lot that like men are also really oppressed like with body image and like like the pressure to be powerful and whatnot you know like there's different types of oppression for men and women so I really dislike it when people like feminists say there is no oppression towards men because like everyone's oppressed like I have experienced oppression and like my friends have too and I don't know, there's just, there's expectations for women and there's expectations for men. And if they don't meet those expectations, then they're oppressed. And I, I think there's there's a lot of like stigma that, that's attached to the word feminism. And a lot of people think that it's, um, 
like anti men, which which isn't true at all. Um, so I I think the word is problematic, but I don't, I don't think that any other word would be better. It's just sort of um, like the the ideas and the notions that people have that are that are attached with the word. I think it's not the best marketing. I think they could do a better job of maybe naming it. I don't really know what the name would be, but I think it's less. Uh, I'm not sure exactly if it's the name, but more how uh, the more moderate feminist movement maybe doesn't use it enough, whereas the very extreme uses it like a lot. So I, I think maybe it gets connected to the, like, the more extreme instead of the moderate, so I think it could just be off that instead of the actual name. I don't believe there's a problem with the word feminism, and I, because I'm like cis gender female, like feminism in like the most traditional mindset would be benefiting me, like the word, because it does have the word femme, which is related to female. But then when you think about it, if we don't want to push for feminism without using the de like the definition, then it's ridiculous. Like why separate the word from the definition? And two, like this just came to my head, but we use human and human has the word man in it. So if we all identify as human, then why should we all identify as feminists? It's, people are more aware of it now, socially, and it's become like a social norm. You know, people are starting to understand that word, and in my opinion, they're starting to have a better meaning, a better understanding of what that means. Um, and I think that people who are feminists or people who see feminists see the pride, and they see being a feminist as something that you should like boast about, you know. So I would say that it definitely has changed, and that it's more recognizable throughout society. I want to say I understand why men are are afraid of feminism, but at the same time, it also makes me cringe because if you're afraid of it, then obviously you're choosing to be ignorant because there are so many forms of educating yourself. But at least if you're asking questions, then you're opening up your mind to actually accepting the word and looking into the definition. So men, you as a hu part of the human race, like are responsible for keeping our society in equal standing with each other. And for the sake of humanity, like yes, you should push for feminism. And go read a book, go read the dictionary definition. Like, it isn't going to be that hard. And supporting each other is what we're pushing for.